So what we're making today, we're making a straightforward white loaf, but this white loaf is going to have some bread improver in. This is designed for white bread. So getting straight down to the recipe, before we start, all these ingredients are at room temperature and also my room is at room temperature. You want 600 milliliters of water and 28 grams of yeast. That's actually fresh yeast. You can use dry yeast if you like. We've got 900 grams of strong white flour. This is a mixture between Canadian and also ship to mill number one. We've got 18 grams of salt, nine grams of sugar, and nine grams of bread improver, and 18 grams of fat. If you're looking to find bread improver, you can find this on Amazon or eBay. Is This is just basically a general purpose one. Now the one I was using beforehand was specially designed for wholemeal and brown breads and that sort of thing. But this one can be used the same, but I always find it's a bit too powerful. Just mix your water and yeast together, whisk it up. Now do make sure if you're using dry yeast that it's well dissolved. Just pour your dry ingredients in. So uh, we'll get straight on with the mixing. So in goes our liquid. And in goes our dry ingredients. So if you've got a slower machine, then you'll most likely have to mix it for a bit longer. But on this particular machine, first speed, check it first. And that's the same as if you're using a three speed machine. This machine is a single speed machine. So it's continuously the same speed all the way through. Well, that's one minute. And I'm also sensing that needs a little bit more flour in it. Two spoonfuls be plenty. So we'll continue to mix this for five minutes. Now, if you've got a three speed machine, first you start off by mixing on first speed just to make sure everything's mixed in. Then we mix on second speed for five minutes. Then we check the dough. Then we give it another five minutes on second speed. Right, that's five minutes. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll carry on mixing that for another five minutes. Dough's ready. Just spray around the machine bowl with some oil. Just helps for it to come out easier. Just mold it into a bit of a ball and that'll be fine. There you go. So we need to be proving this now for around about 20 minutes. Because it's got improver in it, this will be faster. So I'll put this in my prover and that should come up to around about this line, give or take. You can take it a little bit quicker, but it's not worth it. You might as well give it a full 20 minutes of rest. Now this is our dough, which has got our improver in. Now this has actually took 34 minutes to prove up. Improver does help slightly. And also it's more what I call a controller. So we'll get this scaled off. So they're 800 grams each. So we're going to mold these up gently put them into some pots and we're just going to leave these for around about five minutes just to recover and then we'll get them straight into the tins in the meantime you can get your tins ready you want to grease them up well this is our dough ready for the next part so what we're going to do is take these out of here and mold them up so just knock this back like this now we'll roll it up. Put that straight into our bread tin. Do make sure your seam is actually on the bottom of the tin. Same with this one. Roll it up. So there we are. Now I'm expecting these to still take, uh, the previous video I did, they would have been a bit slower than this, but because they've got improver in, it still may take around about an hour, give or take. I'm thinking it might even be 45 minutes. And we wanna be up to about this high on this tin. Now your best proving temperature for these, and that goes for everything, is around about 25 to 30 Celsius with a little bit of water. There you go, we'll get them straight into the prover. So it's now time to put our oven on. Our oven temperature wants to be 210 to 220 Celsius. So let's have a look and see how far away they are. They're almost ready. By the time the oven is up to temperature, they'll be ready to go in. 
So that's our bread from the prover, just up to the top of the tin. Don't want any further than that, and the same with this one. So just before they go into the oven, we're gonna slice the tops, like this. Now I'm not gonna be using any steam today. The reason I'm slicing the top is because I wanna see the volume inside afterwards. So we'll get these straight into the oven. And they're gonna be baking in the oven for around about 25 to 35 minutes, give or take. And halfway through, just turn them around. Well, there you go, folks. Now this bread, I've obviously baked off and it has actually gone cold. I've left it out for a good 12 hours. I just wanted to see what it looks like straight after 12 hours left in my studio. Generally speaking, the loaf looks all right. It could have been left a little bit longer because on this particular one, it has actually come up at the side here and also there. So it did want a little bit more proof. But I was playing it by ear because thinking I might have overmixed it slightly. But when it comes down to it, I, the mixing was most likely okay. Yeah, that's not a bad loaf of bread. Looking at the side, it's been well baked nice. Oh, and it smells lovely. Now, obviously, this bread has got improver in it. And to be honest, <laughs> because I thought I'd overmixed it, because I'm still learning this machine I got. Hey, Baker's blaming tools. Yes, it happens. Remember, this machine I've got here is different than one at work. So I'm still learning the machine and how long it needs to be on for. Now, I think uh, maybe a minute less mixing and it may not have looked like this, but it could have stayed in the prover a lot longer. Uh, the lift on it, if I'd left it any longer, may have been up here and that ain't suitable. I did wonder about it. Now with this one, I did worry about, uh, one of my friends said he had wings on his bread. Well, there's no wings on it, but I could have left this a little bit longer, proving. So, and, and remember this got the additive in it. So you can almost do all, almost anything with this. So let's get a cut open and have a look inside. Once again, we'll go to the middle of the loaf. Oh, now I can see the difference between the two breads now. Now, this has got nice holes, but I can see straight away it could have done with more proof. Now looking at this, I can see a difference between this and the one with one without improver. You can tell that this has got improver in it, but it looks a nice loaf of bread. Well, there you go, folks. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description because that is where you're going to find your recipe. Also down there, there's lots and lots of playlists of other breads, pastries, buns, cakes, all sorts of recipes are down in the description. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters.